Sutra. If there are living beings who are fond of ruling over ghosts and spirits in order to rescue and protect their country, I will appear before them in the body of a great heavenly general and speak Dharma for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. Commentary If there are living beings who are fond of ruling over ghosts and spirits in order to rescue and protect their country, some beings like to command ghosts and spirits. They do this out of a sense of patriotic spirit for their country in order to save it and guard it. I will appear before them in the body of a great heavenly general and speak Dharma for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. Sutra, if there are living beings who would like to govern the world in order to protect living beings, I will appear before them in the body of one of the four heavenly kings and speak Dharma for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. Commentary If they are living beings who like to govern the world in order to protect living beings, they want to rule the world, they want to be leaders in the world in order to protect the living beings in it. I will appear before them in the body of one of the four heavenly kings and speak Dharma for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. The four heavenly kings are um, one maintaining the country, the Tarashtra, who oversees the eastern continent, Pervavideha, two increasing the Rudaka, who oversees the southern continent, Jambuvipa, three Vastais, Biru Baksha, who oversees the western continent, Ubara Gordinya, and four Lund. Vash Vajravana, who oversees the northern continent, Usarakuru. For people who want to rule the country and protect the people, Kwanin Bodhisattva manifests in response as one of the four heavenly kings. Sutra, if there are living beings who enjoy being born in the heavenly palaces and to command ghosts and spirits, I will appear before them in the body of the prince from the kingdoms of the four heavenly kings and speak Dharma for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. Commentary If there are living beings who enjoy being born in their heavenly palaces to delight in heavenly blessings while they are in the heavens, they can command ghosts and spirits. They order the ghosts to do things for them. They summon the spirits and put them to work. Actually, the ability to command ghosts and spirits is rather ordinary. People may find it strange, but actually it isn't. For those who like to order the ghosts and spirits around, I will appear before them in, or in the body of a prince from the kingdoms of the four heavenly kings and speak drama for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. Sutra, if they are living beings who would like to be kings of people, I will appear before them in the body of a human king and speak drama for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. Commentary, if someone wants to rule over people, I will appear as a ruler of people and speak the drama for them. Sutra, if they are living beings who enjoy being heads of households, whom those of the world venerate and yield to. I will appear before them in the body of an elder and speak Dharma for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. Commentary If they are living beings who enjoy being heads of households, they like being wealthy and ruling over a large clan. They want to be people whom those of the world venerate and yield to. People venerate them and bend to their wishes. People are extremely respectful of such a one and trust him. I will appear before them in the body of an elder and speak Dharma for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. I will appear as a mighty and wealthy elder to speak the Dharma for them. 
A person must have ten kinds of virtuous conduct in order to earn the title of elder. There are his name is honored, his position is lofty, his wealth is great, his department is awesome, his wisdom is profound, his life is long, his conduct is pure, his propriety is perfect, his, he is praised by those above him, he is a refuge for those below him. Sutra, if they are living beings who delight in discussing the classics and who keep themselves lofty and pure, I will appear before them in the body of an Upasaka and speak drama for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. Commentary If they are living beings who delight in discussing the classics, perhaps they like poetry or they are interested in the writings of famous authors. They can recite much of this material from memory. They keep themselves lofty and pure. If asked to do something they consider beneath them, they won't have anything to do with it. I will appear before them in the body of an Upasaka and speak Dharma for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. I will appear as a layman and speak Dharma for them. Sutra, if they are living beings who enjoy governing the country and who can handle matters of state decisively, I will appear before them in the body of an official and speak drama for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. Commentary If they are living beings who enjoy governing the country and who can handle matters of state decisively, they legislate the great matters of the country. I will appear before them in the body of an official and speak drama for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. I will appear as a minister or official and speak of the drama for them. Sutra If they are living beings who like reckoning and incantation and who wish to guard and protect themselves, I will appear before them in the body of a Brahman and speak Dharma for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. Commentary If they are living beings who like reckoning and incantation. Reckoning refers to mathematics and divination. Incantation refers to the black arts, various Dharma devices. It also refers to the spells and mantras of externalist ways. The former Brahman heaven mantra of the Kapila religion that Mantaji's mother used as an example of this. These beings wish to guard and protect themselves. They figure that if they learn a mantra of Odama, it can protect them. I will appear before them in the body of a Brahman and speak Dharma for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. Brahmanism is a religion in India. The name means descended from the pure and represents their conservation of pure practices. These people have a lot of endemic devices. They can recite mantras and have many devious magic tricks. And because Kwani Bodhisattva constantly occurs with living beings, he also appears as a Brahman to speak the Dharma so that these kinds of people can have what they wish for. Sutra, if there are men who want to live their own life and uphold the precepts and rules, I will appear before them in the body of a bishu and speak drama for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. Commentary, if there are men who want to live their own life and uphold the precepts and rules, these men study the sutras and decide they want to live their own life. What home do they live? They live three types of homes. They live the ordinary worldly home. They live the home of afflictions. And they live the home of the triple realm. The ordinary worldly home refers to one's family. The home of affliction means the dwelling in ignorance. One should get out of ignorance. The triple realm, also known as the three realms of existence, refers to existence in the desire realm, existence in the form realm, and existence in the formless realm. It is not until you have left the triple realm that you can be certified 
to the fruition of hardship. When these men leave home, they will uphold the precepts and rules. Precepts and rules are extremely important. One who holds the precepts cannot lie or exaggerate. At the very least, one should maintain the five precepts which prohibit killing, stealing, sexual misconduct, lying, and taking intoxicants or drugs. Here, precepts and rules does not just refer to the first five. However, these men uphold the five precepts, the eight precepts, the ten major, and forty-eight minor bodhisattva precepts, and the two hundred and fifty visual precepts. They guard and protect the precepts and do not violate them. I will appear before them in the body of a bishu and speak drama for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. Bishu has three meanings: mendicant, frightener of Mara, destroyer of evil. Every day, bishus should take their bowls and go out to beg for food. They do not prepare their own food, so. They are called mendicants. There are three precepts platforms for receiving the complete precepts. When one ascends to the bishu platform, the kamadana asks, "Are you a great hero?" The answer is, "I am a great hero." The kamadana asks, "Have you already brought forth the resolve for Bodhi?" The answer is, "I have already brought forth the resolve for Bodhi." Then one is given the bishu precepts, and an earth traveling yaksha informs a space traveling yaksha about it, and the word is passed among the flying yakshas until it reaches the heavenly demons in the sixth desire heaven. They report, someone in the world has just left the home life and become a bishu. This terrifies the demon king. Who says my retinue is less by one, and the Buddha's retinue has increased by one? What evil do bishus destroy? The evil of affliction. Without really knowing why, people from time to time give rise to affliction. When they become afflicted, they lose all their talent except for the capacity to turn to evil. For instance, a vegetarian may get upset. And the first thing he decides to do is stop his practice of pure eating. I'm going to eat meat. He decides. As soon as people's afflictions arise, they forget everything except how to do bad things. Or suppose there's someone who stopped smoking for a long time. When he gets upset, however, the first thing he does is reach for a cigarette. And pretty soon he's back on heroin, opium, and cigarettes all in the same inhale. He's puffing and smoking up a storm. He inhaling and exhaling so fast that it's as if he'd become an immortal who can breathe clouds and spit fog. A person who likes to drink vows that he'll never touch another drop. But then he gets angry about something, and he goes out and buys a bottle to get drunk and drown his sorrows. Who would have guessed that the more he drinks, the more depressed he becomes, and he doesn't realize it because he's drunk. When he wakes up from the spree, every bone in his body aches. Ask anyone who drinks, and they tell you that the morning after is terrible. If he's broke by then. There's nothing he can do but endure it. But if he's got any money left, the chances are、um, that he'll go buy another bottle and start in again. Getting drunk is all he knows how to do. In general, when your afflictions rise up, you do things that you ordinarily wouldn't do. It ever happens that someone swears. He would never kill anyone, but when he gets afflicted, he totally disregards everything and decides to kill everyone in the world. And he takes a knife and starts ju- doing just that. So affliction, there is something to avoid. Don't give rise to affliction. You want to leave the home of afflictions. One also wants to get out of the home of the triple world, and so leaving home has. These three meanings. 
Sutra. If there are women who would like to leave the home life and hold the pure precepts, I will appear before them in the body of a Vishuni and speak Dharma for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. Commentary If there are women who would like to leave the home life and would appear, and hold the pure precepts, they also want to study the Buddha Dharma. They also leave the worldly home, the home of afflictions, and the home of the triple realm. Women have more precepts than men. They hold 348 precepts. Women are said to have a body with five outflows, so they have a lot more precepts. I will appear before them in the body of a Bishuni and speak Dharma for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. Sutra, if there are men who want to uphold the five precepts, I will appear before them in the body of an Upasaka and speak Dharma for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. If there are women who wish to base themselves in the five precepts, I will appear before them in the body of Anubhasika and speak Dharma for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. Commentary If there are men who want to uphold the five precepts, that is, no killing, no stealing, no sexual misconduct, no lying, and no intoxicants, I will appear before them in the body of an Upasaka and speak Dharma for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. I will manifest as a layman and speak the drama for them. If there are women who wish to place themselves in the five precepts, they also want to uphold these precepts. I will appear before them in the body of an Upasika. I will manifest as a laywoman and speak drama for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. Sutra, if there are women who govern internal affairs of household or country, I will appear before them in the body of a queen, first lady, or noble woman and speak drama for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. Commentary, if there are women who govern internal affairs of household or country, perhaps these women look after matters or perhaps they work for governmental departments which handle a country's internal affairs and they govern matters of state. I will appear before them in the body of a queen, first lady, a noble woman and speak drama for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. Perhaps Kwani Bodhisattva manifests as the female ruler of a country or as the wife of the ruling man. Perhaps she appears as an influential matron of a woman's burst in social graces. In this way, she fulfills the wishes of such a woman, of such a women. Sutra, if they are virgin ladies, I will appear before them in the body of a pure youth and speak drama for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. Commentary, if they are virgin ladies, for youngsters who have not known women and are still just, I will appear before them in the body of a pure youth and speak drama for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. Sutra, if they are maidens who want to remain virgins and do not wish to marry, I will appear before them in the body of a gracious lady and speak drama for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. Commentary, if they are maidens, that is, women who have never known men and have never married, who want to remain virgins and do not wish to marry. They do not wish to get near men to marry or to undergo the experience of being taken. I will appear before them in the body of a gracious lady and speak drama for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. Sutra, if there are heavenly beings who wish to escape their heavenly destiny, I will appear in the body of a god and speak drama for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. Commentary, if there are heavenly beings who wish to escape their heavenly destiny, these gods and goddesses don't want to stay in the heavens, 
they would like to transcend the triple realm. I will appear in the body of a god and speak Dharma for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish, since they want to transcend the heavens. I manifest before them and, using all kinds of dharmas, enable them to get what they want. Sutra, if there are dragons who want to create their lot of being dragons, I will appear before them in the body of a dragon and speak dharma for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish. Commentary, if there are dragons who want to create their lot of being dragons, the average opinion in this day and age is that dragons do not exist. Some people will accept myths about the ancient dragons, frightening and immense. There's no way to say for sure about those, but dragons do exist. Where do they live? In dragon palaces in the sea. We've explored the depths. Why haven't we ever run across them, you wonder? If you can detect their whereabouts, they're not true dragons, because dragons are spiritual creatures. They have spiritual powers and can make themselves big or little at will. They can grow as big as the empty space itself. They can shrink to the size of a mold of dust if necessary. They can disappear suddenly and reappear just as unexpectedly. Their spiritual powers give them the ability to transform themselves in endless ways. Why do they have such powers but only the body of an animal? As cultivators in previous lives, they brought forth the resolve from great Virago, but they didn't hold the precepts. They were quick with the Virago, but slow about the precepts. They were very casual, since they were quick with the Virago, they obtained spiritual powers, but since they did not accept the precepts, they fell into the animal realm. If dragons decide to, they want to transcend the realm of dragons. Kanin Bodhisattva will appear before them in the body of a dragon and speak drama for them, enabling them to accomplish their wish.